Hello, I'm Reema Das and I'm the director of Bulbul Can Sing. Hi and welcome to the 33rd Teddy Award. I'm Hannah Congdon and I'm here talking to director Rima Das about her film Bulbul Can Sing. Hi, it's lovely to talk to you today. Same here. Uh, so I wanted to first of all to ask you about how you developed your previous films and how you moved on to the film that you currently made. Um, so your film Village Rockstars in 2017 focused on the coming of age period. Yes. Why did you want to focus on that again? Uh, because uh, after children, I like main protagonist in Village Rockstars, they are children. So after that, I, I was just uh, thinking like what will be next, uh, definitely teenagers. And, uh, and also I love to work with children and teenagers because they are very honest and transparent. And uh, like when, because for me also, it's still kind of because I'm not from any film school. It's, it's also a journey for me. And I, I feel very comfortable with them because uh, they completely surrender. Mm. You know, although I, with teenagers in like uh, Bulbul Can Sing, I was going through lots of mood swings <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because with children it was more, more, much more complicated to uh, handle uh, like uh, teenagers than children. Yeah. So you're completely self-taught, is that right? Yes. Yeah, so you haven't yes. gone to film school, haven't had any training? Uh, no. Okay, and yeah. how do you, do you think that influences your work at all? Uh, it is very, I don't know how to, uh, just like when I started watching world movies, then it just came to my mind and probably I can tell stories and uh, it just, uh, that's how I started, yes. Yeah. You said something else? You asked something else? Um, just whether it influenced your, influenced your work at all. But, um, the, my next question was, uh, when the film opens we see Bilbo singing and that's part of the title as well um, and she loves singing in private but then when she's in this public environment she's very shy about singing yeah. and that reflects her sort of the way she behaves on a personal level as well she's much um, more relaxed when she's in private and then she acts very differently in public and I wondered if that was a reflection on the culture from which she came so is there a different expectation of private and public behavior yeah, it is. And it is also like kind of a teenagers. With children also people uh, like behave in a very different uh, way. What I can see in Indian society, children are more free mm. to do their like whatever they want to do. But once uh, the physical appearance it and uh, internally also you started changing in that age of uh, adolescence uh, then definitely they are like kind of under the pressure of um, high expectations and they need to follow like certain like strict moral codes and uh, so uh, uh, from my experience also uh, and uh, if I'm observing like other teenagers so it is always like because they have you know it their influence and they are they have self-doubt fear of failures, you know, as with everything, like, they, they feel more free, like, when they're probably alone or with the, their friends, they are more comfortable. But when they are in public and they have that pressure, you know, and they cannot perform. Yeah, but it's yes. also in the school environment. The school environment seems to be a, this not very open environment. Is mm. that is that fair to say? It is a kind of like it is also. It's very difficult to explain because it's it looks very normal, but there are certain things you just cannot cross. You know, once you cross that boundaries, then the whole thing you know it's different. It's mm. like that. Yeah. And Bobo has this friend, uh, Suman, who yeah. is um, 
it's not necessarily explicitly clear that he's gay, but he certainly doesn't mm -hmm. uh, conform to certain expectations of masculinity. Mm -hmm. um, and he's frequently referred to as lady by mm -hmm. bullies mm -hmm. at the school. Why do you think he poses such a threat to society, especially to boys? Honestly speaking, like, I don't know it is like threat to the society or not, but what I, like when I was shooting my first film, so uh, who played uh, like Suman, his name is Manoranjan Das. Mm -hmm. So that time I noticed that he was uh, like, I think 10 year old. And I saw that, uh, I noticed that he was different from other boys and he was feminine. And his peers and villagers like teased him ladies. And uh, then I was, I, I cannot say that I was shocked, but I know that many more like him, uh, like in villages. But uh, I started talking to him, I started observing, and then I, I could see his pain, you know. I could see he is uh, uncomfortable. And, uh, and the, uh, the thing is that the people, his family also, they fails to understand that he is different. Mm. He was feminine, but they fails to understand, and they they actually somewhere I feel like they are they are actually uh, not aware about that. You know, people can be trans. You know, mm. and the worst thing is uh, when I started talking to him. Initially, I wanted to make a documentary called Ladies, okay. but later on I cast him in Bulbul Can Sing. So he was. Why, why did you make that decision? Why did uh, you want to do a feature film rather than documentary then? Uh, because, like, he, yes. So the thing is that he's that time very young. I think uh, he's 14 years and he is quite hesitant. And uh, because his family also uh, they believes that he's a boy, so he's very afraid to bring, he think that he, he might bring shame to his family and it is very sad that he is not getting that opportunity, he is not getting like space to uh, like explore and understand these complexities, mm. you know, the complications and uh, uh, his sexuality. Mm. So that is the sad thing, he is he's under tremendous pressure. And yes. do you think that actually for the actor it helps him playing this role and exploring this character? Do you think that helps him understand certain things about his own life as well? Definitely, yeah, that is the reason I like when I was doing documentary he was very hesitant. So I, I had uh, like I spoke to him and his family also and I, I said that anyway he is no people are going to tease him you know and this way maybe there will be a, a kind of you know uh, like after watching the film, the people who is teasing him, they will, you know, take it in a different way. They will understand his pain. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So you asked me again something else also? Uh, okay. not sure. I think you answered it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, you also use clothes quite cleverly in the film, so they seem to be quite symbolic. So like the school uniforms feel quite rigid. Mm and not very expressive. And then when the kids are at home, they're in these much sort of looser clothing. And also Suman often wants to do the girl's hair or he wants to put makeup on. And I wondered what role you saw sort of clothes and appearance playing in this culture. I didn't get to. Uh, so what, what's the importance in the film of the clothes and makeup that the kids are wearing? How do you think it makes them feel or express themselves? I uh, because like it's uh, for me like uh, without this kind of pressure somehow life is so beautiful you know it's colorful and the teenagers like they are discovering many things so I this is like lots of I wanted to use the colors mm. so to show their soul their feelings yeah, that's how I think, like, because the youth. And yeah. how would people react in this kind of rural Indian society if they did see a boy or man putting makeup on or putting girls' clothes on? 
Uh, in urban societies, like uh, in our, like there are nowadays certain kind of uh, like acceptance, and they are like aware. Uh, but in rural, uh, so, like in the particularly in rural uh, societies, is is very difficult. You, they don't actually. Uh, they are harassed and bullied, mm. and uh, not not accepted not yeah. accepted still like you know they they continuous like uh, like they have to go go through this process of harassment yeah. humiliation yes yeah and when bonnie and um, bulbul are found in the bushes sort of kissing their boys uh, yeah. and then they're found by this group of men who say you've spoiled our culture yeah i wondered exactly what that culture consisted of and what what do they mean by we've you've spoiled our culture it is a kind of uh, like it is it is sad and it is so complicated that it is kind of an age old story also you can say uh, that uh, in our society still like uh, people they don't consider that kissing and uh, this kind of physical relationships are accepted and uh, it is good uh, and allowed like before marriage mm. so it's it is that is the reason like uh, this uh, moral policing is it is uh, like uh, it is everywhere you know yeah. in india and uh, <coughs> It is because they think it's not right. Mm. Yeah, because they are young, and because like it is not, uh, uh, it is not good before marriage. Yeah. Yes. And you talked a little bit about humiliation and, and the way humiliation is used to punish almost. Um, and in the film, we see that quite a lot. That the, the girls feel a lot of shame, and Suman feels a lot of shame, and has that forced on them. How much is humiliation and shame? Um, used in this society. How much humiliation? How much is humiliation and shame a, a part of this society? It is part of. It is actually part of society. It is part of society, but it is also hmm, very individual. Also, how individually people think. Yeah. And so it is in and <coughs> India is huge. If you talk about India, India is huge. So if you go to different places, you will see uh, like uh, its existence is different. Okay. You know? Can you explain that, that a bit more? So where exactly uh, is this film set? I'm not this sure it's specified. Is, this is North East Assam. Mm -hmm. This is uh, I am coming from the state mm -hmm. Assam. Yes. So it is uh, North East part of India. And, and how or, or what are the different attitudes then in the different parts of India? Different part of India, like actually, if you see, uh, notice notice is more liberal, mm -hmm. you know. And apart from notice, in some like in places in North India, uh, it's, uh, if you see, sometimes they are more strict and conservative. Uh, but uh, being liberal also in our society, it is uh, it is it is there. Mm. You know, it is there. And even if you go to city like Mumbai, Delhi, mm. uh, there also uh, this kind of physical, you know, closeness. Mm. It is openly not acceptable. Yeah. Yes. Um, and. Bonnie drowns herself at, at the end. That's kind of the result of all of this shame that's forced onto her. Is that based on a real event, or is, is suicide something that uh, mm. people are often resort to as a result of the shame that they're made to feel? It is. Uh, it is. It, it, with me, my like when I was young, like uh, and uh, in my college, the same thing happened. Uh, one of my like mm. she's she was my best friend oh, I'm sorry. and uh, she gone through that and had to uh, like she, she died you know so and uh, but uh, I am like away like um, from <coughs> college days like I'm away from home uh, like I was in hostel then I came to Mumbai and uh, when I was shooting my first film 
and when I st uh, like I decided to uh, like tell this story, uh, Bulbul can sing. And then I started. I, I was doing research, and although I know definitely like nowadays, like if you see in the news and media, it is everywhere. Something happens like moral policing. They are always in the television. Mm. That is also more. Uh, life become complicated, you know, people are sharing, sharing it on WhatsApp, it, it is in YouTube, it is, it is more, it is more like, it, like humiliating, mm. you know, it's more dangerous actually. It is not only that uh, you know, girls, or they, like girl or boys life, but families are also ruined. Uh, so uh, I, it is like when I was shooting my first film, and I noticed that in in my village, like I found uh, like two three girls, they are restricted because of this uh, moral policing. Mm. Yes. And so this, um, the, then the the content of this film is very very personal to you. Did you find it difficult to make at all? It's a difficult because uh, it is like if you see village rock stars and Bulbul can sing is more complicated and challenging and then also uh, like these are all like all the actors they are first time actors and they are like uh, non-professional so it is also because they they are staying in the same village and uh, as a filmmaker, I have also some responsibilities because they are not professional actors. So I have to, I had to uh, handle the subject with, with lots of sensitivity. Mm. You know, I, I kept it, I tried to keep it also very subtle. Uh, so yes, I, because I am responsible for their life because I don't know they, like w they are going to become you know actor or they want mm. to take it as a profession or not so and so i had it was challenging it was not and again this um, boy's character because uh, mainly the suman's character it was the most difficult and challenging one for me mm. yes and have you been able to show the, or screen the film at all in your village? Uh, not yet, because uh, we had in uh, Mumbai, he saw the film, mm. uh, Suman, uh, the character Manuranjan, he saw the film in Mumbai. So yet the, the film is not released, uh, probably in two, three months when it will get released and it will be in the theatre, they are going to watch. And what do you think people's reactions will be? I don't know, but uh, there will be mixed reactions, but few of them, like other Mumbai festival, few people definitely like uh, from my state also, other people are watching and they are, uh, we are getting really good response. And uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, how they are going to react and respond. And, uh, and uh, I, I just hope that they will be more sensible and uh, and to understand the woman's character, mm. you know, yeah. to understand the woman's yeah. character and what yeah. this like moral policing also, how uh, like maybe uh, when they really like uh, behaving, treating them like that, that that time they don't even think that they are completely ruining their life. So I, I just hope that they will be more careful and they will understand that we like uh, people they have their right to live the way they want to yeah yes and sort of on that note there's this really lovely scene at the end of the film mm -hmm. where bonnie's mum says to bobo you should follow your heart yes. and i wondered is there any possibility of bobo following her heart but especially of suman following his I heart i followed my heart mm -hmm. i am from that village mm -hmm. so i i just hope that there are many and there will be many and they will follow like their heart and i am just uh, i'm hopeful that this film also will open up conversation open up like uh, like kind of how to live their life with freedom. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>